Hey guys, Victor Alvarez at Induction Performance today. Here today we're going to be doing some testing of some new Precision Turbo products. Induction Performance, we've been a huge Precision dealer for 10, 15 plus years. We specialize in the 2JZ platform, but we do a bunch of other stuff as well. We have a store dedicated just to Precision Turbos. We do a lot of turbo testing and we run these products on all of our builds in-house. So today we'll be testing the new 7675 Next Gen and we'll be comparing that to the 7275 Next Gen. Uh, the 76 has been highly anticipated. It was a huge seller for many, many years, especially for us. The 7275 Next Gen came out and the results were absolutely insane and we've been selling tons and tons and tons of them. So now we're gonna see how that turbo stacks up to the new 7675 Next Gen. Stay tuned, we're gonna do some more pulls now. We just did a bunch of pulls with the 7275, made 1190 wheel horsepower. Now we'll swap for the 7675 and see where we end up. All right guys, so that's a wrap for the dyno testing today. Um, we just did a couple pulls with the 7675 Next Gen. Um, we have been desperately waiting to test this turbo and we're really excited for it to be released. As expected, it picked up a lot of power. So overall, we saw a 74 horsepower increase in peak dyno numbers, but the power carried way further out into the power bin and it gave it a lot better of a power bin to use. So on this engine, this is a very simple setup. It's just our very, you know, off the shelf stage two 2JZ short block. Uh, off the shelf stage three 2JZ uh, cylinder head. So just the regular old stuff, nothing crazy. Um, it makes 181 more horsepower at 8,000 RPM. So the power bin carries out much further out, um, giving you a lot more top end power, probably a lot more mile an hour. And for a car like this, where the customers gonna be doing roll racing and street stuff, you know, having a bunch of peak power, but then it falling off isn't great. And not that the 72 did that, but now we're able to rev the car to 9,000 RPM and carry power almost all the way there. Whereas before we had to, you know, short, either short shift the car or move that rev limiter up to probably like 8,500 RPM. So really happy with the results. We'll have a dyno sheet in there for you guys to see. Again, picked up a ton of power on the top end. Didn't lose a ton of spool. We're really happy with the results. You know, more power is always good, but more power band is excellent. So we're really happy with what we saw. It made a couple more pounds of boost. Just a phenomenal turbo. So if you have a 7275 and you're looking to upgrade, the 7675 will definitely be a really nice option for, for most of you, if not all of you. Um, and we're excited to see what comes next from Precision. Yeah, so from what we have seen today, um, we didn't get to do back-to-back -back with the 7675 Gen 2, but this car did have a 7685 Gen 2, and this thing makes almost the same power, but spools way quicker, and it carries the power just as well as the 7685. So to have such a smaller turbine wheel still carry the power that far out into the power bin is extremely impressive. Um, I honestly think that for a 2JZ, this is probably the end-all, be-all streetcar turbo. Um, you'll have really good spool, really good driving you know, characteristics, 
and a ton of power. I mean, the thing almost made 1300 horsepower. And again, this is just a very basic run of the mill setup. You may be able to squeeze a little bit more power out of it, out of a, you know, a more optimized setup or a setup that is designed to make absolutely as much power as possible. But again, when we test our products, we try to use real world parts and re give you real world data. Yeah, this car is full exhaust on it. Like there's nothing, nothing was taken off or nothing was modified to try to manipulate power numbers. This is real world horsepower numbers and real world results. This was all done back to back, same day within an hour of each other. Um, you know, we didn't mess with the tune at all. We just commanded a lot of boost. The 7275 made as much as it could and the 7675 made as much as it could. Um, so we're really happy with the results. And I think that this is, as was the 7675 Gen 2, I think this will be a really, really, really good turbo. And I think there's gonna be a lot of people running this turbo for years to come. So this car has a Toyota V160 transmission with a tilt and triple carbon clutch. Um, really good clutch and just a basic factory transmission. And again, it has our stock uh, block stage two build, uh, stage two or stage three cylinder head, um, Brian Crower internals, Brian Crower camshafts, all off the shelf parts, nothing crazy. The testing was done with full exhaust. Um, you know, again, nothing to give you some crazy numbers that you won't actually be able to achieve in real life. This is a very run of the mill basic setup and a great setup for a really good street car. If you can get this thing to put that power down, this is gonna be a really fast car. And considering how well the 7275 next gen performs on these cars, I can't believe how good this will perform, especially in the, in the upper RPM range.